Hey, David Merriman Scott here. I'm with Matt Reisinger. We're at the Tony Robbins Business Mastery event, which is fantastic. And I've been following Matt for a while. Matt's been having amazing, amazing <laughs> success with the ideas of new marketing mastery, with the Very ideas kind. of creating content, with the ideas of how can you understand your buyers and create the information that's gonna uh, get them. And I've, I, I met you the first time probably 10 years ago, right. really briefly, mm -hmm. didn't know anything about you in, for the next eight years, but you reached out to me through Twitter and That's said, right. thanks very much for helping to get you started with YouTube. Explain a little bit about your business in Austin, your home builder, yeah. and, uh, and how the YouTube thing came about. So David, I'm a custom builder in Austin, and I heard you speak actually at a builder event 10 years ago. Uh, where you, you kind yeah, of... By the way, that's 100 years in internet life. <laughs> <laughs> it's 100 years ago. It feels like 100 years ago. Where you kind of briefly touched on the principles of new marketing mastery, and then later I dug into them even deeper. And, uh, and here we are 10 years later, and I've taken my business from just me, and I'd never built a house in, uh, in Texas where I'm building before. I had no reputation and no, uh, no visibility in the marketplace. And now I've been in business 12 years. I'm going to do $20 million of construction. Uh, I've got a whole, actually I have two whole separate businesses. One of them uh, is a video production company that uh, we do videos of the job. Nice. And this whole build show that I started has turned into its own entity that actually makes money for me and, and uh, feeds my family. So we've got crazy <laughs> success, great. but it's your principles that I implemented oh, I that have gotten me there. I appreciate that, but you did the work. I did the work, but I, I mean, learned I, it from I, you. I love the fact that you're a builder. I love the fact that people say, oh, but I'm a, you know, insert All right. insert excuse here. Totally. I'm a, I'm a lawyer. I'm a doctor. I'm a builder. I'm a plumber. I'm, I'm a electrician. Plumber, I'm an electrician. Uh, I'm an orthodontist, right? I can't mm -hmm. do what you're doing. Here you are. You're, you're, a, you're, you're in the construction building. You, build, you, you do one custom of, homes. I mean, it's one of the oldest businesses in the world, yeah. right? Uh, people do, building houses for a millennium. Absolutely. And you've done a, you've done a fantastic job. Tell us a little bit about your metrics. The metrics are crazy. Uh, I just had my 10-year anniversary on YouTube, uh, and uh, this January 1st, basically, of this year, I topped 100,000 subscribers. I'm just shy of 10 million minutes uh, a month watched on my videos, wow. 2 million views a month. Amazing. Uh, we're just blowing up. I've tripled in size this past year. Just in the past year. Yeah, but but I want to tell you, David, though, that even though I've got this giant success, it's great for my ego. You know, it's always nice to get an ego boost. But when it comes to the valuable part, which is what's important for my business and how do I feed the 27 families that rely on me, it's putting one step forward yeah. before the other. And in month, you know, three or four of using your principles, I was seeing huge traction then. Right. But the numbers look like, you know, 200 people watching a video. Right. You know, now I've got a video that has 2 million watches, but that honestly doesn't make as big a difference to my business as it did when I had very, very small numbers. But because if you're putting up a $2 million house for someone, all you need is one person That's to exactly come in right. and you've had a fantastic six months or a That's fantastic right. year. Um, and so let's segue just a little little bit into your sponsorship, yeah. the part of your yeah, business. Yeah. So you figured out pretty, how, how long ago did you first decide, figure out the sponsorship? Angle? I guess two and a half, three so years two ago. And a, two and a half years ago, um, the building products companies, mm -hmm. so window manufacturers, for example, would come to you and say, gee, you got a cool video channel here, a mm -hmm. YouTube channel. Can I be? Can you can you feature one of my products? Yeah. You, the light bulb went off in your yeah. head, right? Yeah. So that that business now is is how valuable for you? It's hugely valuable. You know, when it first started out, they wanted to give me some free product or or whatever, and usually it was companies that I that I'd made some videos on before, and uh, I did some of those deals, but mostly I said, you know, I'm not really interested in in this. You know, I, I want to make sure that I'm providing the best thing for my client. And honestly, I don't specify every product in my houses because uh, architects I'm working with are specifying. But it wasn't long after that that I said, you know, I've got a bunch of videos about things I'm passionate about. And actually, I, was, I went from spending no money on videos for years to saying, you know, I think I should bump this up. I'm building more expensive houses. I should probably have better production quality on my videos. So then I started spending money on a, a video production company to shoot for me. Nice. And it was it was a pretty big chunk of money. Now, I had more money to spend in my company at that time. I had a bigger marketing budget. But then I said, you know, what if what if those companies actually paid me instead of spending money to market? Yeah. What if they what if they funded my marketing business? Which is exactly what happened. Which is what happened and 
and not only did I pay for it in the first year, I made a little money, and then I started making more money, and now I'm making a pretty nice income from companies that sponsor me that are companies that I already like and care about and nice. use their products. I'm not a shill for them. Yeah. I'm just a social influencer right. who spreads a message of here's how to build a better house. And oh, by the way, this is a product I like that is part of building a That's better house. That's great. Uh, so two more questions. Yeah. How do you come up, you do two videos a week, mm -hmm. Tuesdays and Fridays, is that right? Yep, Tuesday, Friday. Tuesday, Friday, Tuesday, oh my God, it's almost Friday, what the hell am I gonna do? Yep. How, do that you, how do you come <laughs> up with the ideas for the videos? I mean, it seems like it's a lot of content. It is a lot of content. You know, my target audience though, David, is, is very focused. I know exactly who's watching my videos, and YouTube analytics are really good that way. I know that, that about 97% uh, of the people that subscribe to me are men, and I know that, uh, you know, like, I forget the number, 75% of them are between 35 and 55. So you're like so zero it's, in on that. It's dudes like me, basically. <laughs> it's nerds that are about the same midlife dad that I am right. that are watching my content. And there's 100,000 of those men that are interested in it. Nice. So I say, what's something that, that I would find interesting uh, and that I would watch? I'll make a video on that. And there's, there's so many things that I find interesting because I'm curious and I'm passionate about it. Yeah. And, and you know, in this business that I'm in, you'll never uh, stop learning. And that's yeah. one of the things I love about it is there's always something new to learn. And every time I go learn about building science or about how to build a better house, I go, gosh, why didn't I think of that before? That's a better way to do it. Yeah, that's, nice. that's a better product. That's a better system. That's a better, uh, that house is going to be more durable, more comfortable, more efficient. Every because one of, of those this. things is, a, is fodder for another video. Exactly. Uh, finally, um, lots of people watching who are thinking, oh my gosh, um, this sounds daunting. Mm -hmm. um, it doesn't have to be YouTube, any kind of content, creating yeah. a blog, uh, creating Instagram, whatever it might be. Uh, quick advice for someone who's kind of on the sidelines thinking, should I do this, should I not do this? Yeah, you know, you've said this before, David. It's, it's putting 10 minutes into your calendar a week. Start small uh, or maybe 10 minutes a day. If you can do 10 minutes a day, that's better. But even 10 minutes a week, get on to some form of either social media. For me, it's Instagram and YouTube are my two big ones. But maybe it's Facebook or maybe it's Twitter. Yeah. And join the conversation. You know, it's like I kind of think of social media a little bit of, uh, as being the new bar. You know, when you watched, when I watched Cheers when I was a kid, after work they always went to the bar to hang out yeah. with Cheers. And everybody knew Norm when they walked in. It's kind of the same with social media. You're walking to the bar. You know, you're going to consume, you're going to listen to some conversations, you're also going to say some things. That's all it takes. Ten minutes a day, get in the conversation, and you'll be shocked at the result. And then, you know, you'll work up from that to maybe an hour a week. Let's block off from four to five on Thursdays, and I'm going to write a blog post. And that's really what I did that took me over the top, was, was uh, blogging and YouTube, which is really just a verbal blog, yeah, that's right. uh, and, and talking about a, su a subject and writing my thoughts on that subject. And before long, I became a trusted source for reporters, for people in my industry that knew that I was writing and that knew that I was smart, and then they would push my content out or they would quote me. And, and it's that little seed that just grows into that giant oak tree. Right. And that's how you create so don't, it. Don't stress about the beginning, just do it. Get just do it. Matt Reisinger, you're a hero. Thank you, sir. <laughs> I really appreciate you spending the time here. Thank you, David. Um, thanks for coming to Business Mastery. Uh, keep up what you're doing. And um, thank you for all you're doing for small businesses like mine across the country. I mean, there's 27 families uh, that are part of my team that are fed because of principles that I learned from you. Oh, my. That's and, uh, so, so kind of you to say. Thank I mean, you it's very true. Much. Thank it's you true. Very much. Thank you very much. Matt Reisinger, everyone, he's right here with us. David Meerman Scott, the man. Learn from this guy. You can do it just like I did. Thanks, guys. See you later.